Ensure the personalized attention you deserve with a luxury vacation package from Delta Vacations and the Lifestyle Collection featuring luxury. You'll fly in the comfort of first class, receive VIP transfers to a luxurious hotel, and earn up to 7,500 bonus miles in addition to credited flight miles with the Sky Miles program. For reservations and information, visit deltavacations.com or contact a travel agent. excited to be at Condici. We are here with Annie Gowanlock and we are so excited. As you can see, we get to talk about hats and fabulous women's wear that, that people wear to weddings here in London. And we are so excited because some of these are actually going to be at the Abbey tomorrow for the wedding. Annie, welcome. We're very excited to be with you today. Great to have you here. Thank you. We really want to find out how do we get Americans to dress in style? That's our, our dilemma that we've had. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your fashions? Gosh, okay. Well, Kandichi is a very well-established label for mother of the bride and groom, primary guests that, that go to weddings. Um, I guess the key is it's crisp, sharp dressing, lovely strong colours, incorporating a little bit of print into, into the outfit. Um, but just I think what we're known for most of all, our signature is our, our quality and our fit. It really does make the most of your figure and make you look amazing. I know that for you know, in America, a lot of the women will, you know, when we say you should wear a hat, mm -hmm. and they're like, "But what do I do with it when I'm dancing?" Because for us, they don't just go to a, a like a royal, you know, wedding mm -hmm. breakfast. It's late in the day, and then they dance into the evening. Of course. And then they feel that they're too dressed up to dance or not yeah. comfortable. And the wedding can go on way into the evening, and you want to let your hair down a bit, don't you? Right. And we, we often suggest hats to go with the outfit to complete the look, and that can look really incredible. But if you do want something that's a little less structured and a little more modern, you can also wear a fascinator, which sits more on your hair. You can still have your hair done and have really great hair, um, but it doesn't kind of cover your face as much is what a hat does, and it can look a little bit younger sometimes. Right. It's also easy to take off and leave on the table later on, you know, if you want to go dancing, but, so but keep your eye on it. So it's <laughs> kind of like an accessory, yeah. you know, to the, to the it, hairstyle. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm. And I mean, the hats, so the hats are famous for London. I mean, everyone knows that you guys wear such fabulous hats. Yes. And what is so special about Kandichi hats? We really try and tie the hats to the outfit so that it's just a complete look. So that it doesn't look like you've just bought a hat in a similar colour mm -hmm. to go with the outfit. And we think that's the key to making it look like a real um, complete outfit. Mm -hmm. I mean, this hat that you're holding here has the same trim that the dress and jacket has on it. And it's also trimmed with the print fabric, the silk mm -hmm. chiffon print fabric that's on the dress. So it just ties it all together and gives you a really amazing complete look. And this is such a beautiful hat. I mean, the, the craftsmanship yeah. is just wonderful. It's stunning, isn't it? The it colors is. always match perfectly. The color of the hat will match mm -hmm. the, you know, the color of the outfit. We do put a lot of work into really trying to get this right because we understand that it's a, a very special day for, for the mother of the bridal groom, or right. the guest for that matter. And for the guests. And I think that yeah. that's, what's, that's what is so fascinating to us. Mm. And we have really been promoting you for, like we said, about four years now. Thank you. Because it isn't just for the mother of the bride or the no, mother of the groom, not. it's for the guests. And guests should feel dressed, that they want to dress up and, and feel special at the wedding. It's a really amazing day, and these days too, with social networking and, and pictures on digital cameras, the pictures <laughs> do last forever, don't they? So exactly. you, know, you want to make sure that you look the best that you can. I mean, even now today to meet you, I'm wearing a dress from Esperato, which is our other range, which is a little bit younger, a little bit uh, less structured, and perhaps it's got slightly broader appeal in that sense, mm -hmm. but it can still be for the mother of the bride or groom. Even Kandichi, you know, the, the dress and jacket that goes with this outfit here, it's a great silk chiffon print dress, 
with a silk jacket over the top. So there's yeah. no reason why you can't wear that dress again on its own if you're going on holiday, right. or if you're at a guest at a wedding a bit later on down the line. And you can also wear the jacket with a pair of trousers or you know great jeans. Which so I think is so style. interesting that, that you do that, that you do recommend that they wear them with jeans. Yeah, because it's, a, it's all about personal style, isn't right. it? And, and getting some wear out of this amazing outfit that you have. There's no point in sitting in your wardrobe and you're not wearing it. Right. Well, right. even even mm. even Catherine last night at the at the Abbey for rehearsal, she wore a jacket with jeans. Yeah. And people were so surprised to see that that okay. you know, which I think is just goes a little bit to show about her style. Yes. A little bit more relaxed. Mm. Now the dress that's behind you is beautiful. Well, like this one here that's off the shoulder, yes. it's fab, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is. And, and, you know, to just add a hat to that or a fascinator would totally complete that look. Because that's a really lovely little kind of cocktail or evening dress. It doesn't have to be a structured dress and jacket. You can do things right. a bit differently if you want to. Right. And you really should dress to show off your best assets and show off, you know, the good parts of your figure. And these if you've got nice slim arms and nice shoulders, and why shouldn't you wear something like this? It's right. gorgeous. Exactly. I have a question um, yeah. in regards to the fashion. Do you actually create hats specifically for each of the dresses? Or do you kind of mm. create a collection of hats that kind of works through kind of a color palette? Okay. I mean, we try and keep a, a holistic approach to it in the sense that we want all the hats to go with all the garments. But it is really nice if there's a special element on the hat that does tie it to a particular outfit. Mm -hmm. I mean, the one I, that you're holding now, I said before, obviously it's got the, the trim and the fabric from the outfit, so it's, it's mm -hmm. obviously linked to that. The one that you're holding here with the corsage on it, that's the cover of our autumn winter brochure for 2011. And, the corsage on the on the fascinator is also on the jacket of the, the dress and jacket, so it looks great together. It's it's fantastic. So realistically, could you take, for example, the dress that's behind you? Mm -hmm. Could you put this hat with it, or this, or both? Yeah, you could have either, really, couldn't you? You could, yeah. because the, the colors do complement. Yes. So it's not like you're putting red in. No, I think if it's all tonal and you don't want things to match too much, you know, when you when you get dressed, I think right, you don't yeah. want it to look too deliberate to you. Mm -hmm. You want it to look like you've put a bit of personal style and, and, and whatever into it. So I think it's nice if it's all tonal and you can mix it with something like a really pretty beaded bag or and you know, why not get some great shoes and some nice jewelry? You know, it's a one off occasion, isn't it? So exactly. you know, so if, if there are people in the United States that would like to purchase Kandiji, how do they go about doing that? Do do you have salons in the United States? Well, at the moment, we're just available in the UK and Ireland, but we are looking to expand into North America. Uh, so, so that would be great. And obviously, this interview and with your help, hopefully that, that might be a little easier. Um, but at the moment, it's just available in the UK and Ireland. But you can see all the um, outfits on our website, so condici.com right. and isperato.co.uk. Annie, what would be the best thing that somebody could do if they have never worn a hat before? And we get back to the United States and they all want to wear hats now. How do they go about getting a hat? How do they go about determining what hat looks best for them? I think you really need to go to a store and, and really try some on to see what suits you. Buying the hat and the outfit together as we supply them I think is also really key. But you need to try on some different shapes and see what suits the shape of your face, suits the outfit. Often for weddings, if you're having your photo taken, you don't want a hat that dips down at the front so that you can see your face, like an upturned brim is often a good idea. Um, a slightly smaller hat, if you're going to be seeing a lot of guests, we call them kissing hats, so that you know, two ladies wearing hats you can kind of kiss on both cheeks. That's also something that you should keep in mind. Um, also think about what kind of hair you have. Do you have long hair, short hair? What will you do with your hair once you've got the hat on? And make sure that you have a kind of hairstyle that you know will bounce back once you decide to take the hat off. Right. A fascinator is a little bit different. Um, I mean, they also come in lots of different shapes and sizes. This one stays on with an Alice band. They're very secure, they do stay on. You can have great hair with them as well. Um, but again, choose something to complement the shape of your face um, and the kind of hair that you're gonna have on the day. We have all sizes in the collection, just so that people can choose something that suits them. Like we've got little hats, little tiny little fascinators, really big hats. We try and do quite a diverse range so that people aren't just following what might be the hottest new thing that they mm -hmm. are actually wearing, what suits them, and what goes with what goes with the outfit. Well, I think I saw a picture of Princess Eugenie that mm -hmm. actually she had a bunch of butterflies. Oh, she did. On a <laughs> and I thought that's kind of interesting because it's not as formal as a hat. No, it's not. 
But it was a little bit wild for a daytime. I remember I saw that picture too, and, and she looked great. And she did. I think it was really fun and really quite relaxed, and, and she looked amazing. And mm. it's a really iconic picture because we all know it. So. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Exactly. Okay, well, if, if you are new to wearing hats and fascinators and you've never worn one before, why not start out with something like a little fascinator that turns with your outfit just to kind of get you in the habit of, of wearing them and, you know, you'll, you'll feel great and want to go for one that's a little bit bigger until you finally graduate to a really great, stunning statement hat. Well, and I think we're thinking that bridesmaids are actually mm -hmm. going, that's going to be a new trend yeah. for bridesmaids, um, that they'll actually have fascinators now. Um, kind of reminiscent of the 60s when they had the tiny little veils that they would wear. Yes. Uh, we're thinking that the fascinator now is going to become very popular for bridesmaids as yeah. an you know, accessory for their hair instead of just a flower or something. Okay, well I think it's certainly very exciting because there are lots of different elements of this mm -hmm. royal wedding that I think will influence weddings and influence you know, our, our trade for, for many years to come right. and I think that could also be one of them. Mm -hmm. Annie, can you tell us a little bit more of what we might see as kind of future trends? Obviously Kate loves her fascinator. What are we going to see at the royal wedding and how is that going to influence maybe trends here? Well, I think it, for our upcoming season, for, for spring and summer 2012, I think we'll see a lot of both hats and fascinators. Kate, obviously, as we know, she loves to wear a fascinator to weddings and different events. The Queen loves to wear her hats. Um, and I think, really, just keep your eyes, eyes peeled for tomorrow and, and, you know, find a style that you like and, you know, find your own style icon. Would there be no-nos that people attending the royal wedding should really avoid in a hat or a fascinator, something that's maybe a little bit too over the top? Okay, well for a really serious occasion like a royal wedding, I would always say don't wear too much black. I think that anything that's black that's close to your face can be quite draining and look a little bit sombre. So, you know, a really great colour that suits you I think is the best thing to wear because you'll feel great then too and you'll look great. But I think, yeah, stay away from too much black. They always say don't try and outdo the bride, but obviously Kate is it's really stunning. So I think good luck to you think you can outdo the bride. Good luck with that. Yeah. Um, are there going to be any celebrities or any famous people from London um, that are going to be wearing your hats tomorrow at the Abbey? Well, we have heard, we have on good authority that, that several of the guests at the wedding tomorrow will, will, be, wearing, will be wearing Kendichi and uh, Esperato. Uh, so definitely we'll be looking out to, to see all of those. Um, I couldn't possibly tell you who or which outfits because it's all top secret. So you have to look for yourself on the day. So Annie, people may be interested in purchasing gowns or dresses from, from Kandichi mm -hmm. in America after we get back. So how would they go about doing that? Do they just go onto your website? Do they talk to your retail outlets? Well, the best thing to do is to go onto our web website, which is www.kandichi.com. Um, you can see all the styles on there. There's a really big list of stockists, and if you contact a stockist that has a uh, mail order service, they can post the outfit to you. Wonderful. Now we're holding the beautiful hat that we were talking about it's a great earlier. Hat, isn't it? Yeah. It's fabulous. <laughs> no, you can't wear it. No, I'm not going to wear it. I want to, but I'm not. Uh, can you kind of show how the hat relates then to the outfit? Certainly. The outfit to go with this one is this one here, which is. A, Beautiful silk jacket with silk chiffon dress. As we were saying before, you can wear both pieces again. You've got a really stunning structured jacket and a, a lovely floaty dress, and it just ties in with that hat really well. Annie, we have another, um, now a fascinator to talk about. Um, can you share with us what um, somebody might wear with this? Certainly. This is a great outfit for a mother or a bride. As you can see, the colors coordinate really, really well. Great statement, fascinator. Um, this is a really fab outfit. Beautiful embroidery on this and like a, a lovely leaf design. And it's also got a very flattering neckline and a short sleeve, which is great for the mother or the bridal groom. Mm -hmm. So later on in the evening, they can take off the jacket and just wear the dress and it looks great. Are you finding the, the ruching on the bodice being very popular? It's very flattering. It, does, it adds kind of a dimension of softness to what would be otherwise a very structured outfit. Mm -hmm. Annie, can you tell us a little bit about the colors that we're going to see in the dresses? Yeah, certainly. Um, we find that lots of these really bright jewel colors are great for weddings. Um, I mean, everything from like bright purples to bright fuchsia pinks to sapphire blue, um, even into the more um, shades of green like this, really fantastic. 
Again, we like kind of gold and silvers going into black and white. Black and white is a very big thing for weddings in the UK. A lot of bridesmaids will go for like long black dresses these days and it's great for the mother of the bride or groom to wear something like this. This is a really stunning outfit. It's got this uh, beautiful scalloped edge detailing that's got uh, layers of tulle and these black jet beads in there and teamed with a you know, gorgeous jacket like this. It's a really amazing look. Um, we have another range called Isperato, which is a slightly younger feel, uh, younger feel than Kendichi. Um, again, lots of really amazing bright colours like jade, um, this lovely shade of deep teal, it's a gorgeous textured fabric. This is really, really amazing. That's a French cloth. Um, going into reds and pinks uh, and purple. This is a really uh, iconic outfit for this collection for this season. I think they were um, showing the fascinator before. Again, this is a French fabric and it's like an animal uh, stretched taffeta with just a little bit of stretch to it so it won't crease. It's really comfortable and you can wear it all day and look great. So, stunning dress underneath this one as well. Uh, we were talking about the fascinator before for this one. The dress has got a beautiful detail on it like that and it's just amazing. And again, you can wear both these pieces again to other special occasions. Uh, at the end of the rail here, I've got some really lovely shades of grey, which are also the outfits that you can see on the mannequins behind me here. We've got the dress that I'm wearing in this dark grey, which we're calling graphite, which if you just want a statement dress to wear for the day, is a great choice because it has a sleeve, a little bit of stretch in it, and it's very comfortable. But if you do want something slightly more... Uh, ornate and, and really, really special for the big day. Something like this with like the ruffles collar and all the beading on the dress is also a really great choice. Annie, the dresses are delightful. Thank you so much for sharing them with us today. We're hoping it will inspire our American friends to start dressing up in something beautiful for weddings. Oh, great. Us too. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it.